Welcome back to Sports Extra. Time now to talk about our third segment, and that was Abilities Defeating Disabilities at the National Sports Festival that was held in Peshawar. And it was very, very heartwarming to see about 500 people with disabilities participating in this event, jointly organized by the ICRC and, of course, other sister organizations as well. And they all had the same slogan that it was abilities defeating disabilities as well. And there were different kinds of sports. There was wheelchair cricket, wheelchair basketball as well. And like I said, these people do deserve our special attention. The International Day for Persons with Disabilities is being celebrated on the 3rd of December. And obviously, it's our time to give our share to this segment of the society as well, because they're no less than heroes for us. And obviously, now to discuss about this, we've been joined on telephone line by Mr. Najam Abasi, who's the spokesperson for the ICRC and one of the organizers of this event as well. Mr. Najam, assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Sports Extra. Uh, Walaikum salam ji. Thank you very much. Right. Uh, sir, if we talk about this event in general, I'd like you to briefly highlight the ICRC's uh, role in this as well. And how do you intend to promote this on a further scale? Yeah, sure. Uh, first of all, thank you very much to PTV World on talking about this particular issue, uh, which is actually on the social inclusion of persons with disabilities. And of course, sports is just one way to, to, to help them do that. So uh, generally, um, you know, for example, the ICRC uh, has been working particularly on this field, in the physical rehabilitation of persons with disabilities since 1984. And currently, we are the largest service provider uh, supporting more than 26 centers with the help of 10 local partners. But of course, um, physically rehabilitating them physically is just one step uh, towards, of course, making them a useful member of the society. The, the second step is also to, to give them opportunities to be the part of uh, the society, be it uh, you know, the social inclusion, but as well as the economic inclusion and others. Um, so this National Ability Sports Festival, which was the first of its own kind, we have organized in, in, in Peshawar. It was just uh, an effort from our side to show them that, uh, or to show that the, the general masses uh, at large, that, you know, these, even if their body has a kind of disability, but there is no limit to their abilities, abilities, and this should not be um, uh, any hamper or any, there should not should not be a hurdle to chasing their dreams. So that's why we have organized it at Islamia College, uh, Peshawar, which is also uh, you know has a significance uh, because of its history and then the location. So, and gathering more than 500 players with disabilities from across Pakistan, and allowing them to show their talent, their matchless talent, uh, in front of so many uh, thousands of people just to, you know, so that um, for them to have this idea that, you know, the people are out there to help them, to support them, the society at large in Pakistan, but as well as for us, the people like us, that, you know, we should be also aware that uh, whatever we do, whether it's the uh, sports or other, other uh, activities of our life, we should always keep an eye uh, towards... Uh, Right, Mr. Najam, if we talk about the uh, participation in this, you said that this is the very first of its kind that was held and it had about 500 people participating. But this means that in future times, in, in coming years as well, we can make this a yearly event equivalent to the national games because over the world we see Paralympics uh, being held for people with uh, disabilities. Uh, Britain's Prince has also his version of these own games for war veterans who are with disabilities as well. So in, in future, we can see a huge, because 500 in the first event is, a, mashallah, a huge number. So we can improve this gradually and make this equivalent to our national games with all segments of society. Mind. Actually, this is, this is exactly what we should do, we need to do, and that's what we are also, from, from the ICRC perspective, we are aiming to do, that uh, we need to make it a regular feature, an annual feature, and with every passing year, we need to further expand it. And this can only be done when more and more uh, organizations working for the rights of uh, persons with disabilities. But then most importantly, the government uh, joins hand. Uh, th that's only when you know, this can become bigger and, and, and regular. And that's, that's what is uh, that we are, we are aiming right. at. Right, but Mr. Najam, I must ask this because it is my civic responsibility and uh, every Pakistani's and every human being's responsibility as well, that how can we contribute to this noble cause? 
Okay, so um, you know, today um, we had a, a panel discussion exactly on the same issue, which was the social inclusion of uh, persons with disabilities in Islamabad. That was also in connection with the International Day of uh, Persons with Disabilities on 3rd of December. And, you know, where we discussed so many things that, you know, we need to move ahead uh, in providing the right laws and, uh, um, you know, policy frameworks, allowing persons with disabilities, and then there were a the role of media and society. But one thing which came out very regularly is the mindset. Like to have the mindset uh, which each one of us always, that, uh, you know, we, we, we always consider these people uh, as part of us, as a part of our society. So whatever we say and whatever we do, we always keep a space where persons with disabilities can, can participate. How? How we can do it? For example, um, in, in our schools, you know, uh, for example, I grew up even uh, in the in the in my school. I never ever saw any student uh, with with disabilities because we have always tried to exclude them. Mm -hmm. So uh, the right. more inclusive society we can develop, you know, uh, around us, I think that's the only way we can we can help them around. Be it in sports, be it in education, and or other day-to-day -day, uh, right. activities. Right. Mr. Najam Abbasi, a spokesperson ICRC, thank you so much for your time on this as well. And obviously what you guys are doing is obviously not only generous, but it is also contributing to Pakistan's nation building as well. And like I said, these, all of these people with disabilities are no less than heroes and we need to play our part for them as well. That's all we have time for here at Sports Extra from me and the entire team. It's goodbye for now.